Hey guys, what's going on? So, I have on my right, I have the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X, whatever you want to call it. The official name, I believe, is 10. On the left, I have my 7 Plus. Uh, it's a year old. Uh, so, it's not doing an unboxing today. I just wanted to show you guys a few things. I've been playing with the phone for a few hours. I was really excited about it. I've been waiting for this phone. It's a beautiful phone inside and out. Uh, truly, truly incredible. I'm going to give you a quick show you guys the back of the phone. You guys have probably seen enough videos of this, but here's the back of the phone. I haven't taken the wrappers off yet just because I don't have all the stuff uh, to protect everything, case and all that. Um, I got lucky I got the foam. That side bezel really is pretty. It reminds me of the Apple Watch, um, you know, with that really silver side. It's a really pretty phone. Feels great in the hand. This form factor is fantastic inside and the size of the hand. Uh, but what I really bugs me, and I just looked at this and I've been playing around with the phone for a couple of hours now. And I'm like, how can I turn the screen brightness up? It feels really, really dim. And it's really, really annoying. So I'm like, I feel like I'm about half screen brightness. And so I decided to do a comparison video. And I looked at my iPhone 7 and I looked at the iPhone 10 and I'm like, hey, at full screen brightness, the iPhone 7 Plus is way brighter, like twice as bright as the iPhone 10. And that is a huge issue, especially for outdoors. Um, because you're not going to be able to see the screen quite as good. So just to show you that I'm not jacking you guys around, here's full screen brightness on the iPhone 10, or I'm sorry, the iPhone 7. And on the right, there's full screen brightness on the iPhone 10. So now I'm going to play you guys the video. This is Andy Murray hitting a backhand. I'm into tennis. And you can clearly see the iPhone 7 is way brighter than the iPhone 10, and that's really, really annoying. So some people are gonna go, well, the iPhone 10's tilted a little bit, so it's gonna decrease the brightness. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it like this, and you can see that this is the same, at the same angle now as the iPhone 7, and it's definitely a lot brighter on the iPhone 7 than it is on the iPhone 10. Really, really bugs me, majorly. Now, just so you guys know, True Tone is not on the iPhone 10. It's a new feature where you have True Tone. It's basically light, like the night mode. It takes the picture and it makes it a little bit orange to make it easier on your eyes. But True Tone is off, and True Tone is off on the iPhone 7. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to decrease the brightness on the iPhone 7 to about right here. Okay, and you're going to be able to see the iPhone 10 is now a little bit brighter than the iPhone 7. But geez, on the camera, it actually looks like the iPhone 7 is still brighter than the iPhone 10. Now let's go ahead and turn it like this so you guys can see. Yeah, the color is a little bit different for the same video. And there's no true tone. And definitely there's a difference in the screen brightness. So once again, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 10, full screen brightness on the iPhone 10, half screen, a little bit above half screen brightness on the iPhone 7. Very disappointing. Other than that, it looks like a great phone. One thing I'm also, the other thing I'm also extremely disappointed about is I feel like they jacked us around hugely on that measurement of the 5.8. The phone is skinnier, so there's less width to the phone. That means the screen is not quite as wide as the iPhone 7 Plus. It's wider. And while it is taller overall, they're measuring on the diagonal. So it gives this really weird, funky screen ratio. And I'm going to show you a game, uh, Clash of Clans. Uh, Actually, you know what? I don't have it on that new phone, so I can't show you that. But the screen ratio is completely messed up, and it looks tiny on the iPhone 10 compared to the iPhone 7 Plus. And this is a really big issue. So when I put these on top of each other, okay, you can clearly see, you can clearly see that the screen is quite a bit smaller lengthwise in landscape mode. And when I put it next to each other, obviously the screen is way smaller, okay, length uh, up and down on the iPhone uh, 10 than it is the iPhone 7. So just to show you guys too that I'm not messing around, uh, we're going to go back to home. Okay, go ahead here, stop that. Going to go over to, just so you guys can see what True Tone looks like, uh, display brightness, and True Tone on. It's going to turn that screen a little orange now. You definitely saw that change on camera. Going to go back to YouTube here. Going to go back to... That's interesting. I wonder why it doesn't want to go into landscape mode. So now you can see the difference. True tone on the right. So the true tone is on with full with full screen brightness on the iPhone 10. And we got half the screen brightness on the iPhone 7. I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen brightness totally up on the iPhone 7 so you guys can see the difference again. 
look at that. Just massively different. So much brighter it can, with True Tone on the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 7. It's really, really bothersome. Now, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe when True Tone is off, I can turn the brightness up higher, but I don't know how to do it. And I don't know if there's any other settings or whatnot. All I know is that the brightness setting is under the brightness control. So this is really difficult. This really sucks. I'm going to go back to the control panel and I'm going to take a quick look. Bear with me. Let's go ahead and pause this real quick. And I'm going to go back into the brightness display. Now, this is another thing is why isn't the screen going from portrait into landscape? Um, that's really annoying. So I'm going to turn off two trunks. I really don't like that during the day. Night shift is great for night and does help save the eyes, but not at, not during the day. No, there's really nothing. There's, there's, there is absolutely nothing on here to make the brightness higher. I can't click that. Can only toggle the brightness. Okay, so that's that sucks. So why is it not going from portrait into landscape? Is that a new feature? It doesn't do that. I mean, uh, the which call it? The screen lock isn't on. So let's try screen lock and see if that undoes it. Okay. So portrait, landscape, nothing. Okay. Let's take screen lock off. Portrait, landscape, nothing. Okay, so that, that kind of sucks. I don't know why it does that. One other thing I want to add, and I don't know why Apple hasn't done this before, is when they take the phone from portrait into landscape, it messes with all the apps. So all the apps go into a different place. So why can't the apps just turn a quarter a quarter move, okay, and everything stays in the same spot? That'd be so simple. It's such a, It'd be such a simple programming thing. Turn the app, goes like this, and when it's in uh, landscape mode from portrait, Okay, and then all the apps are in the same spot because you already know where all the apps are. You don't have to search for them. I mean, like here on this phone, you go from here, everything's here, and then you go here, and then everything's different. It's like, what the heck? Everything is different. My Clash of Clans down there or my Amazon Music is down in the bottom right-hand corner. Should stay in the top right-hand corner? No, it goes down here at the bottom right-hand corner. I don't like that personally. I wish they would just stay there and do a quarter turn so that I know where everything is because when you go from here to here or from here to here, it, it just messes things up. So I wanted to go over a few gestures for the iPhone 10 because I, I do actually like a few of these things. So the new control center is top right, swipe down. You can press anywhere on a, on the screen as long as it's not a button, goes back to the home screen. Top left is notifications now, okay? And swipe up. Anytime you want to get to the home screen, even if you're back here, you swipe up and it takes you back to the home screen. That's great. Uh, when you have a couple of apps open, okay, I'm going to open just a couple of apps to give this a, a demo. So you're going to swipe across. That opens that. This I absolutely love. I think this is a great way to switch apps. This is fantastic. Apple did a fantastic job on this. You can swipe to the right. You can swipe left. You can swipe right, okay, to go through, to go through all the apps unless it's at the end. Now, the other thing is how do you get these apps to get to the collage of apps so that you can close them all so they're not running in the background? You take this, you go up. You don't want to go too fast. You hold it there and then it opens up. The one thing I did not find intuitive is how to close the apps. You can no longer just go like this. That doesn't close the apps. You go have to open up an app or you're in the app. You take this, you go here, and you got to press and hold. So tap and hold, and it brings up the little red icon there. You can individually do them, or from once you're in the red icon, you can then swipe them away like that. Okay, so I think that wasn't quite as intuitive on Apple's part. I wish that when you put it here and you swipe them out uh, up like you did on the old program, that that worked just fine. They didn't need to do this press and hold, tap and hold thing, um, but that's the way that goes. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't show you guys Face ID because this is actually not my phone. Uh, this is my friend's phone, and he was really kind enough to let me use it. He went to the Verizon store earlier today and was lucky enough to get them. Uh, I talked to a Verizon guy yesterday who was incredibly rude and said, if I'm not standing in line right now, there's no way I'm going to get an iPhone X. I pre-ordered my iPhone X already on the release date, so mine's coming in the mail, but my friend got his today. He went there 15 minutes before 8 o'clock that Verizon opened up, and he was the sixth person in line, and he got a phone, and they had plenty of phones for everybody. There was actually a lady behind my friend who had just come from the Apple store and she said it was just bonkers. There was a ton and ton of people that were there. Uh, she said the line was just going down the street. She said as he was leaving that, uh, or as she was leaving, because it was a lady, uh, she was saying that people were starting to get arguments and starting to get a fight because people are trying to cut in line. They really wanted the iPhone. And she's like, she just took off because she got there a little bit later and she get to the Verizon store. Well, guess what? She got her phone and she didn't have to wait like five or six hours to get it. You know, so she got lucky. Verizon stores actually had quite a few more phones than people anticipated. 
Um, overall, I really do like the form, the size and form factor of the phone. I think it looks fantastic. Um, it feels great in the hand, way better than the iPhone 6, uh, iPhone 7 Plus or any of the Plus phones because it's a smaller form factor. I just really wish that they would have made it wider and had the same screen ratio as the uh, the iPhone 7 because uh, now all the apps got to re-optimize themselves to, uh, or all the companies got to re-optimize their apps to fit that funky size screen. It's not no longer going to be 16 by 9. Um, I think that's a big mistake. They should have made the phone just a little bit wider okay to compensate for that and give us the same size screen there would have been i think i don't know if the screen would have changed if they made it a little wider yeah it would have changed just a little bit maybe it would have been a six inch phone instead of a 5.8 but that would have been better uh it would have still felt just fine in the hands and you wouldn't feel like you're getting a smaller screen compared to the iphone uh 7 plus or any of the plus phones so at 5.5 inches so that's really disappointing biggest thing is the brightness i'm super disappointed on that i'm disappointed that the screen does not appear to be bigger on the iPhone 10 than it is on the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm sorry for this kind of long rant. It's been 11 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm disappointed. I haven't got my phone yet. Uh, I am seriously considering not getting the iPhone 10 because of the screen brightness issue. If I can't get the screen to be brighter, that's going to be a huge issue for me. I need a bright phone. I need to be able to see it during the daytime and not struggle to see my screen. Uh, as far as the OLED technology, again, I don't see a difference between the two. The Retina to screen on the iPhone 7 Plus looks fantastic compared to the OLED display on the iPhone 10. So there's that. Uh, I might do another review. Uh, we'll have to see. Other than that, you guys take care.